Are you a woman in business looking for mentorship and support networks? Do you feel the need for guidance and camaraderie on your entrepreneurial journey? Are you wondering where to find the right resources and communities that can propel your business forward? Hi, this is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo. And if these questions are on your mind, then you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I'll be guiding you through the process of finding mentorship and support networks specifically tailored for women in business. Here are five steps to help you with that. Number one, identify what you need from a mentor or a network. Number two, explore online and offline networks. Number three, attend workshops and seminars. Number four, utilize professional associations. And number five, don't be afraid to reach out directly. We'll explore through each step how to connect with the right people and resources to support your growth and success. Ready? Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. Step number one, identify what you need from a mentor or a network. The first thing you need to do is to identify what you need from a mentor or a support network. Understanding your needs is important as this will help you seek out the most relevant and beneficial resources. So, reflect on your business goals, challenges, and areas where you seek guidance or support. And let me tell you now about Olivia, the owner of a Korean street food business. After a while, she wanted to scale things up. And she was like, how do I do this? And that's when she had the light bulb moment. I need a mentor, she thought. And before asking around, she made sure what she wanted from a mentor. Now, that mentor should be someone who could give her the right advice and strategies to grow her business. And then she went on to look for one. And it took her a few false tries until she found the right one who had all the tips and tricks just right for her. So for her, it was just like hitting the jackpot. Awesome, right? Let's go to step number two, which is to explore online and offline networks. Do you hesitate to explore both online and offline networks? Think about the benefits that diverse networks can offer your business, regardless of your reluctance. They can provide you with a wide range of perspectives and opportunities. So go ahead and join online forums and social media groups. You can also attend local business events or conferences for women business owners, just like what my coaching client Grace did. Now, Grace is a mother of three, and she owns an arts and crafts supplies business. She joined online communities for women in the same industry and attended local meetups. And so, by networking both online and in person, she expanded her circle of contacts. Moreover, Grace gained access to different avenues for assistance and collaboration in her arts and crafts supplies business. Let's proceed to step number three. Attend workshops and seminars. Don't like participating in workshops and seminars? Now is the time to start loving it. It may be hard at first, but you see, these can be great places to meet mentors and peers. Look around for events focused on women in business, entrepreneurship, and something that's specific to your industry. Now here's an example. Meet Aida. She runs a computer parts business with her life partner. And wanting to improve their business, she decided to check out a seminar on marketing for small businesses. And guess what? She hit it off with a marketing expert there who ended up becoming her mentor. This awesome mentor didn't just offer Aida practical advice, but also helped her fine-tune her marketing strategies. Great, isn't it? And this leads us up to step number four, which is to utilize professional associations. Have you thought about joining professional associations? You might not realize it yet, but they're great for business owners in many industries. They offer a wealth of valuable resources and opportunities to connect with fellow business owners in your industry. Just do a little digging to find the right association for you and then join in. Get involved in their events and their stuff and you'll be making the most of what they've got to offer in no time. So here's Rachel, another client who owns a boutique for environmentally conscious fashionistas. She's one very creative Filipina and when I advised her to expand her network, she decided to join a professional association tailored for women in the sustainable fashion industry. Now, being part of this group helped her a lot. She got special guides on how to find eco-friendly clothes and how to market them in a better way. She also met experienced fashion experts who gave her great advice, like how to make her store more eco-friendly, how to make it more attractive to clients and customers. Plus, she got to team up with other eco-friendly designers for cool projects and events. How great is it, right? Let's now go to step number five, which is don't be afraid to reach out directly. Are you afraid because of rejection? Please don't. There are willing people ready to lend an ear and offer their support. So 
consider reaching out directly for mentorship. You see, sometimes all you need is a direct request. This can lead to valuable mentorship relationships. Do this. Identify women whose careers inspire you, then reach out with a thoughtful message seeking guidance or mentorship. Take Nancy, for example. She owns a professional home cleaning business and she needed some guidance to make sure that she was on track. Now, even though she was a bit scared, Nancy reached out directly to me for mentorship. In her message, she expressed her passion for providing top-notch cleaning services and she bravely asked for recommendations. So to her delight, I agreed and our sessions gave her the push that she needed. Yes, this simple act can lead to valuable connections and opportunities that can help scale your business. Why not give it a try, right? You never know where it might lead. Now, there are many business mentors out there. Remember, step number one is to identify what you need from a mentor or a network. So remember that finding the right mentorship and support networks as a woman in business can be a game changer for your business journey. You don't have to be alone in this journey. If you're ready to learn more and to take your business to the next level, remember to subscribe to my newsletter for more insights and tips. And together, let's unlock your business's financial potential and let's create a thriving future for you. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, stay inspired, stay empowered, and keep reaching for your dreams. This is Mommy and Your Mommy Negosyo saying, be business-minded, Pinoy! (laughs) 